Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial video. We'll be focusing on CoinSpot, on how to deposit Australian dollars, how to buy and sell coins on CoinSpot, and also how to transfer from one wallet to a different wallet. Now, CoinSpot is a centralized exchange mainly used in Australia. So it's a convenient place and app that has great customer service. Now, with CoinSpot, you will need to be verified through KYC. So sending through a passport or a photo license to verify that it's you. Um, all it takes is to open up with an email and you're all good to go. Now, once you've created an account, on the top right over here, this is where you can deposit AUD. Now, what I found was that the easiest way to get AUD into CoinSpot is through Poly. Um, Poly is essentially connecting your net bank. It's a safe way as well to transfer funds. Um, and over here, right, uh, usually there's a maximum daily limit of 20,000. And if you want to increase that, you can contact CoinSpot through email. Um, now over here, all you need to do is deposit. Let's say you wanted to put in $50. You can select the bank as well. Um, and so you will Commonwealth Bank. You can go to continue and then press continue. All right. And then you'll put in your net bank details. And CoinSpot does not have access to these details. It's just um, a third party payment, essentially. Now, once you have some money inside your CoinSpot account, it should look something like this. It will show you the coins available um, on the, the main interface. But if you go into wallets, you can see the different type of coins that you hold. Okay, I do not hold my coins on CoinSpot. Um, and if you, are you're interested in learning on the different wallets that I do have, you can look at the other videos that's provided on this channel. But over here, right, I have a bit of BNB. Um, $29.61. Now, if you had some money, all right, and you wanted to buy some anchor, right, you can press buy and you can either choose um, how many units of anchor you want to buy or you can go with the AUD amount. Just bear in mind as, as well that if you wanted to buy, let's say $10 worth of anchor, all right, there is a 1% flat fee it's always 1% for buying and selling. Just be, be in mind. So now, once you have um, some coins, in my balance right now, there is BNB. And let's say I want to transfer that BNB to a MetaMask wallet on the Binance Smart Chain. All right? What will need to happen then? So I would go into my wallet and then... I'll just click on my BNB over here and I can press send. Now, this is very important, okay? You always need to be aware of the network that you're sending it to, all right? For BNB, there is BEP2 and BEP20. Now, this is, uh, BEP2 is if I was sending it to maybe a Binance wallet. Um, this, the Binance Smart Chain is what I want to send it to. Now, depending on your transaction, it might be different. But for me right now, it's the Binance Smart Chain one. Right? I want to send this to my MetaMask, which is a decentralized uh, wallet. So just bear in mind as well that there will be a minimum withdrawal value. So some coins might be one unit, 10 cents, 20 cents. Some coins might be $20, right? Like Ethereum, you may need to pay an Ethereum fee. Um, but let's just send what I have right now to a certain address. So I have some saved addresses here too, All right? And I might need to put in my two-factor code. And this is something that I would recommend everyone to do because it will give another layer of security, right? Um, if I do not authorize this, or if no one has access to my Google Authenticator, um, they can't make transactions, right? So I'm just going to put in my Google Authenticator now. This will change every 30 seconds or so. 
So making sure Binance Smart Chain wallet sent. All right. Please check your email to click and verify. Every single time you send over a payment, you must also verify this in your email. All right. So just layers of security. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now as well. And I'll show you that the transfer actually went through. Okay. Done in my email. I'm going to go to my wallet right now. All right. And voila, it's in here now. Okay. So that's a short tutorial of how to use CoinSpot. Hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you guys at the next video.